Hey there guys, welcome to the channel, I am Parky P and today we are playing even more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, so last time was just the... Confront what is inside anger, sadness, that kind of thing. Okay. So yeah, last time out we uh well we lost our arm. So as you can see this arm is now a bit bony. Uh yeah, that's about it really. It was just purely the first half hour, roughly, of gameplay. 25 minutes, that sort of thing. Uh, so we're just going to carry on with the story. What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi. I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Uh, let's ask how we got here. All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <laughs> He's being uh. held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. Okay, so left arm. what about the left arm? What did you? That is what I call the, the shinobi, shinobi prosthetic, a fitting bang for a one arm useless. When it comes to carving Buddha, though, <laughs> you can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for you. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools. Okay. So he's the guy who See, I can upgrade my arm for. This. You, if you bring me shinobi tools, I then you'll come. Oh, oh no. He said too much. Did you Let's find out about this bloodline as well. Bloodline. I don't know the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood. And that blood runs through your master's, master's veins. veins. Of the divine air. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. Ooh. You're quite the strange Hello. one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange suit to my... Okay, so we're going to go right from the... Oh, hello. You truly the power of the dragon. I never thought I'd see it with my own. Who are you? My name is Emma. Hello, I'm Emma. After serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me. That master. For his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, to assist you, I'm not telling you to. However, the gourd of medicinal that was originally a creation of mine. So you've made our Estus flask essentially. You made this gourd. Yes, it, but it seems he and I'm sure you may have known the medicinal waters in this gourd even after being emptied. Yes. Bring me gourd, gourd seeds. Gourd seeds. Yes. Medicinal waters, adding new seeds, will in. I am skipping this sort of thing because it's just if you find any fact chat, right. really. I like. What is it? Please. Show me your face. Hmm. This white mark. No. Is it a birthmark? What white mark? That must mean it appears on those. Or perhaps... Hmm. Are you done? Yes, I'm sorry. Goodbye. Bye, bitch. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, got a sword back out. More pellets. Lovely. So I assume, yeah, this is the place where we can rest. Like a bonfire. Uh, sculptor's idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a sculptor's idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems in storage will be added to your current inventory. With some exceptions, resting will also revive enemies. So if I rest... Ooh, so magic. 
Uh, okay, I don't know what these stats are yet, but that's fine. So he said right at the gate is where uh, someone I could get along with, maybe. Whatever. seen you before your name <laughs> but you do have the look of a skilled shinobi thank a you shinobi. Or per mm. sir please heed my home base me in that um. so is he dead uh. oh Is he going to want to fight me again? No? Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is illuminated, it means that an item has found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. Okay. That swordsman, it was a thing to be if you have managed to kill me in such a... So what are you? Some call it others. I can't die, so how about you? Hmm. Seems you have a say. Why don't you use me for some sweat come in hand? A warm body that can't die, my well. Uh. Very well. Right then, they say. Swing the sword is your sword. Have you known in this temple attracts tracks that certainly fit? Mm. And I suppose. So I'm, ass I'm assuming this is essentially the hub world. Come back, what if you have tech. So he's a practice man, basically. I love that I actually have a jump button. Okay, so we're grappling hook. The Shinobi's prophetic grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designed with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. Left trigger to grapple, and then there we go. Uh, this grapple hook could be very useful. Sheena outskirts. So yeah, I'm I am assuming that down there is the uh, main place, the main hub area. Oh, it really doesn't want me to. Okay, so if any of you have been watching my Tomb Raider playthrough. You know that me and jumping onto things it never goes well. So, new bonfire? Yes, new bonfire. You can now instantly travel between sculptors and idols that have already been con that are communed with. Travel can be accessed via the sculptor's idol travel menu. Okay, so we can just fast travel now. It's nice to have such new mobility. Ungo Sugar. Sugar candy made in Senpao Temple. Sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy to take the Ungo stance to depart to impart its inhuman benediction. benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpao monks spread this candy across the Sheena in honour of her military heroes. Okay. There's a guard over there. Who hasn't seen me yet? Oh, there's an enemy. Enemy. There's a thingy down there. Stealth blow. Lock on, jump, and plunge. Okay. So, where is this enemy that I can just jump and kill? Ah, there you are. Hello, sir! Oh, that's nice. Uh, enemy loot. Press and hold X to acquire loot. Press X now world item. Pick up loot. Okay. So, coins. More pellets. Pellets are lovely. Ceramic shard. A piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Thrown at enemies to draw their attention. Ooh. 
So, yes, being sneaky is definitely a way forward. Let's get their loot, more gold. So, where are these enemy? Yeah. So, can I grapple back up here now? Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like this. It's very much almost like Arkham, the Arkham games. Swinging from the gargoyles. Okay, so there's a, oh, someone else spotted me. You over there. Any more items hiding about? I haven't got a walkthrough or anything up for this, so I don't actually know, like, potentially where to go at places like that. Okay. Die! Oh, this is fun. Oh. No, thank you. Fistful of ash. Yes, that's to hide ourselves. Let's get this stuff. Pick up item. Pellet. Okay, lovely. Back over here. And take them out. Oh, this mobility is lovely. I believe it's from software who made the Tenchu games as well. Uh, I remember playing a bit of them as a kid. Uh, didn't really know what I was doing, but enjoyed them. Enjoyed the mobility of it. I picked up that item. Why is it still there? Why is it still there? Okay. Um, hello, dog. Does it know I'm here? Oh. Okay, so I've got away with that one. So they die in what one hit? Yeah, lovely. Ceramic shard, yes, more distraction techniques. Is there anything in here? Ah. Shuriken wheel. A mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen. It can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it's palm sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. Uh, shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly return via travel from the sculptor. The sculptor's idols. So I assume there's going to be a sculptor's idol nearby. Uh, anything else over here? Uh, please, no. Safety roll. Okay. So I've just been hit by a giant bloody chicken. Okay, so there's nothing else over there. No more enemy, but another item. More pellets. Getting quite a lot of healing items. Which is always welcome. Not going to turn it down. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So there's general over there. Why can't I jump up there? There we go. Oh, I need to find a way around. So that hopefully I can take the general out. Or at least give him a death blow. Fairly easily. Let's just ignore that bit. Oh. Some enemies use unguardable... Un yeah, unguardable perilous attacks signified by danger symbol. When these occur, uh, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific response. Landers thrust, lands deflect, before sweep lands jump, before grab lands step dodge. Okay, so I think I did that right. Assuming we don't have the take my blood and live again. Ugh. Yeah, we'll resurrect, why not? Grants the ability to resurrect. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculptor's idol, killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after losing it. Killing enemies will make it available again. Yeah, I've got quick items, that's fine. Alright, so he attacks twice. My posture is close to breaking. So just let that uh, regenerate a little bit. Come on. No, 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 no. Ooh, heal, heal, heal. Come on. Oh, I'm taking too many, too many attacks. Okay, so I've gone back to Dark Souls mechanics here. I'm just running around and jumping. Come on, break his points. No, no, oh, what? Oh, so experience toward the next skill point and current sen in hand are half the pawn of death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this. However, through the grace, through the grace of God or Buddha, it may not be impossible. Uh. Right. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, so the enemies are all still back. So I'm going to skip back to the point where we're fighting the Big Donny again. Hello there Big Donny. We are coming to get you. Hopefully. Yes. Brilliant. That's one attack done. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Yes. Oh. 
no. Break his poise, break it. Come on, we've got this, we've got this. No. Come on. Yes. Oh, God. Prayer bead, a loose, a loose prayer bead. Often four of them at the sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. And a gourd seed, lovely. Okay. Club the gold. See what item this is. Some more ash, lovely. Stop having bug in the wall. Break the buckets. Whew, okay, we did that bit. Uh, is there a sculptor bit nearby? I can't see one, but I want to improve the uh, healing flask thing. So I'm going to go back to this one around here. And yeah, we're going to travel back to the hub world. Hello, Emma. Can you? Yes, I died. The divine oh. air's voice reached out and suddenly. So you died. I died and I'm alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection. Yes. Lord Kuro, it's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's Dragon Heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection, they are revived upon death, repeatedly. Impossible. Yes, it is rather strange, and yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice I don't think the power of a... I mean, I'd be very surprised I'm myself if it comes without cost. Yes, Is increase my gourd healing, my Estus flask. Thank you. Is it strange? If it's effective, that's what my mentor did. I see. Please bring me any. I should be yeah, able after to more further gourd seeds. The... That's Good. fine. All right, you. I have a tool for you. I found one. I should know be. Yes, I said yeah. before that. But by fitting shinobi Every tools, tools here on, you'll be a chance to change that form of fact. Break them into splinters, fitting more devices if there's someone that needs. That's all there is. Mm. Mm. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my skin. Give it here. Yes, give me my new tool. Thank you. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be especially, especially, especially adapt to the shinobi prosthetic via the fit prosthetic tools menu. Uh, a shuriken wheel prosthetic. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single fluid motion. Yes, we will whack that in. So that is what? Why? No matter what I do, thus is the will understand. So. Uh. Yes. Oh, thank you. Right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there over don't where? do anything funny with it. What? Uh, prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted. Uh, equipment menu, use prosthetic tool of right and switch with Y. Okay. Ah, so this is where we load them up. Okay, shuriken. So that's the switch. I can't do anything yet. Where's this nice little Buddha he said not to do anything with? I want to do something with it. Can I get that item, please? Spirit animals are required to activate prophetic tools and are consumed each time. They can be done by defeating enemies and purchased from sculptors' idols. Oh, okay. But I want this item. Light coin purse. The purse filled a small amount of sen. It can be used to acquire the sen inside. Uh oh, it's okay. So anything in that purse we don't lose when we die. 
That's quite nice. Okay, so they come back. So I've got to be very careful with the use of the prosthetic arm. And what, they come back when resting. I hope so. No, they haven't. Ah, uh, fantastic. We've just lost them all. Uh, but that's it for today's episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. If you've liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment what you have enjoyed and what you haven't enjoyed. But most importantly, make sure to hit that subscribe button for even more daily content. I've been Parky P, and I shall see you all next time.